All right, welcome back to another driveway. Today, I've been binge watching uh, Forged in Fire. So I've got this urge to remake a kitchen knife. Why? Well, why not? This is my stupid little kitchen knife made out of cheap ass stainless Superior steel, no stain, and it's got rust spots. So, not high quality stainless, and it doesn't keep an edge worth a darn. So, yeah, nothing. So, can't do any worse. Worst case scenario, we blow up the whole garage. Less than worst case scenario, we don't even heat up our metal. So, got the propane forge cranking out over there. So hopefully it'll get hot enough to heat up a hunk of metal. So stick around and see if it actually works. Chances are if it works, you'll be seeing this video. If it didn't work, I'd probably delete it. So let's see how it goes. All right. Kind of like on the TV show, you start off with the metal that you're going to be using. We've got ourselves a big hunk of torsion bar. Torsion bar should be 5150 or 6160 all depending on what it is and where it is and either way anything that's a spring steel is going to be a high carbon steel of some sort mainly because you can't have spring tempering uh, with anything but a higher carbon steel so this was a torsion bar off of the Raider so since I didn't need torsion bars, since I put the SAS on there, that's where I got that metal from. So I cut myself a chunk. Hopefully it's not too terribly big. That's about what? Maybe six inches. So welded that to a piece of rebar. So we got a handle. And then down here we got Two forms of our ghetto for uh, ghetto anvil. Got a couple uh, barbell weights, and then we got a piece of square stock welded to a brick disc. So doesn't get much more ghetto ties than that. Then of course over here, we've got our little aluminum forge that we made quite a few episodes ago and we're gonna stick our bar in there and see if we can generate some heat okay so now while we're waiting here's what our current kitchen knife looks like we'll be hijacking its basic design I'm just going to modify a couple things so here's our tentative plan as you can tell we copied most of it let's line up the so it's like the handle geometry is pretty good so we'll copy that but down here I wanted a little more finger guard like with my big hands it tends to slip up and although it's not sharp down here, I just don't like slipping off. So, we've got that. And then we've got the blade about an inch and a half longer. So that comes up to about a nine inch blade. So, what was it before? almost like what six and a half inch blade and we'll go to a nine inch so about two inches then 
So essentially we're keeping the similar geometry, which for this type of knife is just a chopping knife. So as you come through you can work your vegetables or whatever. So I figured I needed something a little bit better that I can sharpen and or hold an edge. Cause this thing I like it, but it takes way too much effort to chop stuff. We need something more dangerous so we can accidentally chop our fingers off or something. So, that's our plan. We're probably going to make this handle completely full tang. So, that pretty much means the metal is going to go the entire shape of the handle. Unlike this one here, it's a hidden tang. And if you can look up close, the tang is really small. So I've banged it a little too hard. So it actually, the handle wiggles. So not ideal. So if we make it completely all steel through here, we'll have considerably more beef to it. And then we'll just have to get probably wood or yeah most likely wood or we could do aluminum but whatever we'll figure out what we're doing for the handle uh, when we get there if we get there so that's the plan All right, I think we've probably hit maximum temperature that our little forge can go. So, that's a good bright orange. So let's bring it all over to our ghetto anvil and see what happens. All right, plan B. That guy just didn't seem to hold in the heat very well, so let's try some fire brick. Notched it out for the burner. So let's give it a go. All right, essentially what we're trying out, we've got a stack of boards, then we got some leftover tile, since tile doesn't scorch, and then we got some stainless steel that has a little bit of ribbing here to kind of get a minor air gap. So hopefully we won't scorch everything. Then we'll just seal in between with some refractory cement type of stuff and that should uh, seal her up. So time to get rolling.
So that's our new little ghetto fur orge. Left the back unbonded there, so if I enjoy doing this crap, I can make it longer to do longer blades or something like that. the interesting part. grinding station we got our blank 
Now we're just going to overlay the old blade. You can see we're just a touch short, but I don't really care. We'll There's plenty of handle room, even for my big fat hand. So we're just going to there. Transfer the handle geometry to the blank. So now we know what we've got to cut out. All right. Well, this is what we got so far. Not too bad. Like right now it's probably still sharper than that other kitchen knife of mine. And just for S and G's. No chipped edges. Might actually be even sharper after uh, hitting all that. All right, thinks about time for a handle. All right, now that we've got our blade looking decent, we're going to worry about our handle. So we've got a piece of mahogany here. And I'm just going to scribe around here and get a rough shape cut out on the bandsaw so there's less grinding to do. And then we just epoxy and pin, and then grind the handle. Alright, so on our holes, I kind of wallered out the uh, hole a little bit so we can friction fit the pin in. So, we got that with our mahogany blanks. So, little pin, sandwich them in, we'll be good to go. Alright, we got it pinned. Now we're just gonna smear some epoxy down in the cracks, and then Sandwich it together, let the epoxy clear up, cure up, and then we can start shaping the rest of the handle. All right, we've got the epoxy cured up. So now we're going to just get a rough shape going. All right, she's roughed in. All right, well that's not too bad. Got that all shaped, so it actually feels pretty good. All right, well that will do it for this episode. Got our knife, nice handle. All we gotta do is sharpen her up to good, and it will cut. So, like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next video. Later.